Welcome to Jacket of Ireland, becomes much, much easier. In this video, we'll be solving some questions on partial production that came out in your test. So we have this question, express 10 minus 2x over, in bracket, x minus 3, in bracket, x minus 1 in partial fractions. Remember, I did a video that will show you how you can get your answers as quick as possible. So we'll be using that trick to solve this question. Um, the basics of the trick is you cross multiply, you evaluate this, and if it gives you the numerator, it means your answer is correct. So let's solve for this. We we'll have 2 in bracket x minus 1. I believe you should be fast on that day of the e test because there is no much time. So we have to open the bracket off to x minus 2 plus 4x minus 12. So collecting like terms, we have 2x plus 4x, 6x minus 2 minus 12 minus 14. So it means this is wrong because it did not bring us back to the numerator. So let's move for the next one. We have 1 in bracket x minus 1, minus 4 in bracket x minus 3. So in this we have 2x minus 2 minus 4x plus 12. So we have 2x minus 4x, which is minus 2x, minus 2 plus 12, which is also plus 10, which is the same thing as well have and still be written as 10 minus 2x. It's just the order of placement that was changed. It means B is our correct answer. So we'll be moving over to the next question. We need to solve this question. If x minus 7 equal to a in bracket x minus b plus b in bracket x minus 1, find the values of a and b. So now if you want to solve this, we're going to use the cover up rule. A faster way of doing it is Okay, we want to look for a first, so we come to b and make b. b. b make sure everything here is equal to 0, so then we can solve for a. So how do we do this? We have x minus 1 here, so the additive inverse to give us 0 will be the opposite of this, which is plus 1. We have minus 1, it becomes plus 1. So we, once we have 1 plus 1 here, plus 1 minus 1 gives us 0. 0 times b gives us 0. So that's what we'll be using here. We'll be so anyone will see x will substitute with plus one so that this will go and we'll find b. So we'll have five one minus seven equal to a one minus two. We'll be having five times one is five minus seven equal to minus one a. So then five minus seven is minus 2 equal to minus a minus 1 a is minus a so dividing both sides by minus 1 we have for a to be equal to 2 then solving for b we are going to do the same thing come to a make a everything here to be 0 then we solve for b so now we have minus 2 here Oh, the additive inverse of this is plus 2. So when we put 2 here, 2 minus 2 gives us 0. 0 times a gives us 0. Then we can solve for b. So if we substitute the value of 2 into this, we'll be having 5 in bracket 2 minus 7 equal to everything is cancelled. So we'll leave that b in bracket 2 minus 1. Solving for that, we have 5 times 2 is 10 minus 7 equal to b in bracket 2 minus 1 is 1 so we'll be having 10 minus 7 3 equal to b so at the end of the day our a is equal to 2 and our b is equal to 3 you can try substituting if you get the answer so you can do that right now to see if you are correct so we have the second question express x plus 7 over x squared minus 7x plus 10 in partial fraction so we'll see whether this rule applies to all forms of partial fraction. So let's solve as we did. We are solving the equation. So 4 in bracket x minus 2, then minus 3 in bracket x minus 5. Open in bracket, we have 4x minus 8 minus 3x plus 15. So now we have solving 
collecting like them as we have 4x minus 3x is x minus 8 plus 15 is plus 7 and that's what we have as a numerator x plus 7 it means this answer is correct moving on to the next one the fraction 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus 54x plus 50 over x squared plus 2x minus 24 is this we have been asked to find which is correct so the same principle cross multiply so we have this times this 2x minus 1 times this but we'll expand this so that it will be easier for us to solve which is this x squared plus 2x minus 24 then minus this and now opening this bracket we have okay minus 4x minus 26 you know times 1 is still gives us the same thing so let's solve opening the bracket we have 2x cubed this times this plus 4x squared minus 48x minus 1 times this minus x squared minus 2x plus 24 then opening this bracket we have minus 4x plus 26 so solving for that we have this is only x cubed we have so we would use the remaining constant 2x cubed we have 4x squared minus x squared this will give us 2 this will give us 3x squared minus 48x minus 2x minus 4x we give us minus 54x and then we are left with the constant 24 plus 26 is 50 so let's look if this is the same with our numerator and yes it is so this is our answer is our answer we have solved simple and basic problems dealing with partial fraction in this video now in the part two of this video we'll be solving more tougher questions watching this video and you're yet to subscribe make sure you subscribe now hit the subscription button and click on the notification bell to get notified each time we post new content you don't want to miss any of our amazing videos at any time so make sure you subscribe and a lot of your friends needs to watch this so it will do you no harm in sharing these videos to your departmental groups and your friends. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.